have your food, because it's danger, and we have to take our destiny into our hands. We are not killing the Fulani, we are not killing the uh, Karafu. We just want to push them out of the farm set their land. Yes, so they are buying it with their money. They are not buying it in credit. You pay it rightly. Nobody has monopoly to anything. It is not by force. If they can't even get uh, the this thing, if they can't get it from there, you can buy it elsewhere. You can use can buy if you have your money, you can buy whatever you want to buy. You know, from a different source. If uh, the source they are you are buying something from is going to be return your flesh, you just you discard it. Their own is just too much. You know, just now that they have uh, blocked. Uh, bringing of food to the west you see that it is so, sort of quietness sort of quietness in the north nobody is saying anything you c just imagine if this action is being taken from the southern part of the country you know what all of them would have come out like bees just like i've always said they always come out they will come out as bees. they will not be quoting the constitution for you it is not by force like the guy said let them go they are not touching them just leave let them so that they will have peace of mind and the worst part of it is that the government is not doing anything. We have a governor in that state. I think there was a time he moved around. He just moved around. All of them, they have an agenda. I don't even know the kind of spirit that is controlling these people. Is it all about greed? Is it all about uh, ambition? Or uh, this is a smelling ambition they are always talking about. You want to come back for second time and see what they are doing. I don't know. I don't know what they really, they really discuss even in their meetings. They think uh, people are fools. See, you will just imagine road in this modern day. See, see the road in the first place. And you can imagine this place, you know, as you're even watching watching the whole thing, you see that this road is just a dry, a dry road. This is an old road that they ought, ought to have been done. We shouldn't be even having any uh, uh, this kind of road in our in our society as we speak, but they will see a embezzle the money. For people to, for people to have decent life. It's a, it's a problem for people to, to have a you know have their lives secured is a problem food is a problem so what can we even hold on to in this country that yes this is what we are gaining nothing very soon you are going to be hearing a, a, a threat oh you don't have right to do this you don't have right to do that constitutional this and that but since the northerners the traders they have they've already taken their decision that say they are not going to be supplying food to the south as if uh, they have the food they are even bringing in the first place as if it is free it is not free it is not free at all all of them there's maximum quietness now but by the time they see the video all of them will come as and the unfortunate thing there is that the the, the so-called leaders in the south they are not doing anything they are just keeping quiet as if uh, there's something that they views in sealing their mouth see cows see cows Stay in a place and do your business. This is a lie. And we have not seen the results of the 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 reason why they have been attacking people, going into people's farms deliberately and heat up the crops. Is that no wickedness? Meaning that whatever you want to do, we are going to do it. You don't have right to say anything. And now they are happy. Oh, the South does not have food, does not have this and that. And this intention is to cripple the economy of the Southwest through uh, destruction of their farmlands 
now they are saying they are going they are not directing or diverting their own goods to Cameroon and Niger Republic. We wish them good luck. We know that a lot of a lot of things will still be coming out from there. You know, as far as this government is concerned, any crime coming out from the north, nothing is going to be done. They are not going to do anything to them. They are not going to arrest them. And that is why these people are just having that boldness to commit the atrocities. Deliberate acts saying that nothing is anybody is going to do and no, nobody has been doing anything the police are just handicapped but when once the southerners are into any form of crime the police are very quick very very quick to get them arrested and, and put them on media trial just to show their ego but when it comes to what is really ravaging the country now mm -mm, they are not doing anything but in the northern west in the north rather they are giving them amnesty they are pampering them Oh, you have to do this and that. They are not afraid. Government is not afraid of the bandits. Afraid of the bandits. Government coming out to tell us that uh, the only solution is to give them amnesty. If there's going to end the but if there's going to be an end to the banditry, that they need to give them amnesty. What is amnesty? People committing crime, meaning that the police cannot do anything. If the police cannot do anything over there, so is it uh, in the north? In the south that you expect or won't expect them to arrest these people it's not going to happen it is the people themselves that will take their destinies into their hands because waiting for all these leaders across vote we are just joking and shamefully they will come and when anytime election is coming they would ah i hope uh, nigerians will be able to listen i hope nigerians will be able to know what they really want at that time so that they will not see go and fall for all these traps. just like i said you can see rodu see road see the route that a, 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 a people are applying they won't do the needful very very unfortunate huh. so guys let us hear your opinion leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts on this thank you